Yeah, gotta kill these ghouls again. These would be the ones that I sent out there to sneak in. Yeah, you know. Not that they're difficult by any means. I think there's another one somewhere. There. Where is he? Okay, I guess there were only three. Now we can use the kitchen key that we got to open this door. And we do want to go in here. Because there's a life gem. Oh, thank you very much. Not gonna complain about that. There's a crystal growth in here too. Yeah, full crystal, whatever. I will backtrack just a little bit. By where we first came in, we could go left. Yeah, we're gonna head that way now. After we fill our magic, of course. there, and then we're done with it. Hooray! Nice big open area. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen there. I won't be attacked by anything, will I? No! Wondering why that scroll icon was showing up. I already read that one. Okay. Oh, look, it's armor. Good. I like armor. Especially when I let it punch me a couple times. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Trying to destroy its shield, that's what we were going at here. There's also four skeletons moving in behind it. So this could be a difficult fight. If you're not careful, because yeah, four skeletons is bad. It's a nice open area though, so that's worth noting. Ideally you want to get rid of the armor first, which is what I've been focusing on. Granted, the armor is not nearly as fast as the skeletons. You still want it done and out of the way because you don't want it nailing you with a big AOE attack while you're working on the skeletons. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of the armor right now. That takes care of that guy. Now we just gotta take down a bunch of skeletons. And I suppose it would help to try and do so without letting them tear me up, huh? Stop that. Okay, don't make me get Bob in here. You guys went like Bob. I really don't like that whirlwind attack. You can run away from it, and that's about all you can do. You can't block it, can't dodge it. Well, you can dodge it, but... Yeah, running from it, that's about all you can do. Could have just used a crystal here, but I didn't feel like wasting it on these guys. And yeah, they're fast, they have a lot of health, they're annoying, but they're not nearly as annoying as Swordmasters, so I don't think they warrant the use of a crystal. I'll just let them hit me a couple times, you know, make it interesting. Run away from that. Damn it, it's too late for that. That guy got back up. How annoying. I have a 
full shadow gauge. Let's use that. Stop that. Yeah, they were starting to piss me off. Okay. Oh, goody, another whirlwind. La 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 la, just run around. Can you tell I was button mashing a lot here? I mean, it's it's pretty freaking obvious. I think I finally got that in control, though. You don't want to button mash, it's bad. You get hit way too much from the button mash. Now we fill the focus gauge. Gee, that's useful. The fight's over, Gambit. Okay, here's what's funny. The first time I played this game, I did not find the hint scroll for this puzzle. I just guessed, and it took a very long time, because I had to keep running all the way back near the beginning to the magic font. Why am I pausing it? Oh, right, G-Man showed up at this point. I had to open the door for him. Of course, he immediately helped himself to one of my beers while I am going to resume the chapter. Yep, okay. Yeah, but you know what? You can go up here. <laughs> exactly. Who would have thought that? But up here is where the hint scroll is, in addition to one of the most out-of-the-way gems in the game. There's one that's even further out of the way, but this is one of the furthest. This, this one's really out of the way. Yeah, right! <laughs> there we go, making Nathan Drake-type impossible jumps again. Yeah, there's the hint scroll. Of course, I'm not going to show it because I know the answer now after dinking around down there for like 20 minutes once. <laughs> yeah. We'll refill our magic, of course. We're going to need our full magic. Well, we've not to solve the puzzle. I like to have my magic full. Now we're going to do some beam walking. <laughs> Okay, that was annoying. Let's go. Myself, I kind of find beam walking rather annoying, and I just want to get through it as quickly as possible. It looks cool, the scenery is great and all that, but it's like, damn it, I just want to move on. <laughs> Thus often I get the hold R2 to not fall icon. Yep. Like I said, way out of the way, Jim. Normally you just gotta make a jump or something, but yeah, this one, you just, yeah, you go way out of the way to get that one. Why am I turning my magic on? Oh, I think I was showing G-Man the effects of magic. <laughs> That's what I was doing. He's going on calling me a rotten fucker and saying, Don't spoil the game for me! Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, go take your beer into the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I think I was arguing with G-Man here about something stupid. And it's alright. No, no, I told him to get me a beer and he didn't want to do that, but he did. So it's all good. Now... I told him he's gonna drink my beer, he's gonna have to go get me one. It's only fair, right? Yeah, right! Down we go. 
<laughs> now, we will solve the puzzle so we can advance, obviously. Yes, blue on the first room. And on the second also. Then we're going to go red. And we're going to go red again. And then blue and red. It's not real difficult, but if you don't find the hint scroll, yeah, you could be there for 10 minutes going, playing a guessing game like I was on my first playthrough. And your magic does drain when you touch runes. You know, it doesn't if you just have it turned on and you're walking around, but if you're touching runes to solve a puzzle, it will drain each time you touch one. Because yeah, I think it counts as an attack. So if you fail too much, you got to go back and recharge. Yeah, your magic. Yeah, you know. Thank you. So ends chapter 6.